हेलो फ्रेंड्स जर अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई बी ऑल डिजाइनिंग डेवलपर माय नेम इज इंशाल मेक एंड टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू बिल्ड एन अमेजिंग प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग नेक्स्ट जेएस एंड दिस वीडियो विल बी रियली हेल्पफुल सो रिमेंबर टू सी दिस वीडियो फ्रॉम स्टार्ट टू एंड सो यू कैन लर्न वन टू वन थिंग अबाउट दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू आर एंजॉयिंग दिस वीडियो लर्निंग थिंग्स फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू आर लाइक इंटरेस्टेड इन नेक्स्ट जेएस सो प्लीज हिट आई लाइक टू दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब ऑन माय चैनल आफ्टर सब्सक्राइबिंग आल्सो हिट द नोटिफिकेशन बेल फ्रॉम व्हिच यू विल बी गेटिंग ऑल द नोटिफिकेशंस ऑफ माय वीडियो व्हेन आई विल बी अपलोडिंग एंड आल्सो जस्ट share this video because if uh, more people want to learn these amazing things using next year so they can also learn so in future coming up videos i will be also telling you how to build clones with next year and that will be also really helpful because previously when we are building clones we were using react js in that but now we will be moving to next year and we will be working with next year more learning thing from next year like we are learning in 10 minutes video like previously i have shown you how to uh, create a alert tag using next year and i hope you enjoy that video also So remember to see this video from start to end also because this video will be including more other things which you needed to learn next year and you can check my next year tutorial which I have uploaded previously because that will give you help if you want to learn next year and if you want to become full stack developer of that. So I hope you will be enjoying this video also. So now we will be starting with our project. So like I am telling you, we will be building an amazing project using next year and I hope you will be understanding this project and this video will be really helpful for you. So now we will be starting to build our project with next year like I am telling you. Now for building this project of next year like we are using previously VS Code text editor. So today also we will be using that text editor to build our amazing project using next year. So simply I will be moving to my search box. Here I will be opening my VS Code text editor. You can see now my text editor has been opened. I will be closing this HTML file. making new window from here close previous window then here we have to open one folder but before opening folder we have to create one folder so we can work in that so i'll be moving to my command prompt in my search box now you have to select the location where you have to create the folder so i'll be writing npx create but before that i will be selecting location which should be local disk set now i'll be writing npx create next step because i'm working with next js if you are working with react js you can write npx create react app So here now I am writing npx create next step. Then give a space. You can write your project name after that. So here you can give any project name. I will be writing project dash eleven. Press enter. Now when you be pressing enter, so you will be it will be taking some time to create your folder. So it will be installing some of the React React DOM and Next JS dependencies which we needed to work with this Next JS. So you have to wait a while till it is installing these things. So till it is installing, I'll be now doing it. You can say minimizing this thing. And here I will be now moving to file. Here you can now. uh see the folder so i can just go to file press open folder you can uh, see the folder from there or you can go to this folder then you can open this by doing it full screen you can go to local disk app where we are creating our folder and you can see this is the folder which is creating with the name of project 11 because we are using this name to create our folder now here we have to check our folder is creating or not so you can see now it is adding uh as resolving packages patching packages and now it is linking some of the packages dev dependencies are installing here like uh these aslet aslet config next which we needed to work with next js and which we needed to run our next js app in the starting and then we can work with that so you can see now it is resolving packages and it is adding yarn in that so we can use yarn but i will be using npm because i have installed that i have also installed yarn in emergency like if npm does not work so i can use yarn but till here npm is working so i can use npm but if you are on mac or apple device you can use yarn because yarn gives help on mac but on windows my opinion is use npm now you can see it is just uh, fetching packages and you can see there it is written success means our folder has been created in local disk app with the name of project 11 i will be closing this command prompt go to file press open folder or you can drag and drop folder directly from local disk app i'll be pressing my location where i have saved my folder just press project 11 which we have created this was the name of our folder which we have created then press select folder here you can see now when i press the select folder our folder has been selected and our folder has been run now we have to run this in our default browser my default browser is opera so it will be running my uh, next js app in that so i will be now writing here npm run dev which is the command to run our next js app now it is a starting server in local host 3000 so i'll be opening my opera browser which is my default browser so i will be opening that and running my Uh, default app so i'll be closing these previous things which i am getting here now you have to just do like open localhost like this and you can see now i've opened my localhost and it is looking like this and now you can just see this we are getting our next js app at the side and it is looking awesome and now you can do it full screen like this vs code and you can work with that so i will be now 
doing one thing i will be moving to pages tab here move to index.js we have to erase these all thing which is written in this next.js app so i will be erasing all these things just don't erase this close diff tag because we will be needing at the end now when you have closed this you can see now we have erased all the things just simply have to press ctrl s to save you can see all the things has been gone now we can work with our own thing so here i will be copying this head tag because i will be using a layout file to pasting this head tag here so copy this now pressing ctrl c now here i'll be making one folder uh, i will be now creating one folder in this project 11 folder which should be named as components then create three file in this folder but uh, first file should be named as header.js then second should be named as footer.js and first letter should be capital of every file which you are creating then third layout.js in which we will be pasting our head tag which we have copied from index.js file which was in pages so here i'll be writing rafc then erase this layout from here because now we don't need it then paste the head tag here and when you paste this head tag just you have to erase this meta and link tag because now we don't need these two tags here and you can use bootstrap here also we will be copying bootstrap cd and link if we want to do so here you can write h1 then you can just write here another thing like styling uh, you can say that styles one like this so here if i write styles one you can see now we are getting this so here you have to save this file now move to header.js do same thing here rfc just we will be not pasting the head tag which we have copied from index.js file then when you have closed this move down then create a h1 tag here also then here i will be now writing styles 2 save this file here and now just move to uh, your layout.js file move to footer.js then here i will be now writing rfc same as here then when you've done that erase this footer from here and then i will be moving down right h1 here and then right here is styles 3 save this file so here i'll be writing this save you can see nothing has been come because now we have just not written the uh, like you can say layout tag in our index.js so i'll be now saving this move to layout.js file here then we have to do one thing we have to import it from layout so here i will be now copying this import head from index.js because now we have erased that head tag from here now when you've done that just you have to do one thing here like press backspace here save this move to layout.js paste this thing then we have to just write the head tag here so i will be now writing header now close this header right here footer because we have written these two files now we have to import these two things so i'll be importing header now when you have import header import same as footer also which we have written at that here so import footer save you can see again nothing happens because now we have to use the layout tag in index.js i'll be moving here then move underneath this return and here i'll be writing layout now if i press enter so uh, layout will be automatically imported at the top you can see now it is imported at the top i will be closing this here copy this close layout tag here and now if i save here you can see now we are getting all the things like we want style 1 style 2 style 3 like we have written then here we have to set its title where it is written create next tag now you can go in this title means in layout tag then you can set title here you can write any title like styles component you can write this then save this file so like this now save this file you can see title has been not come because now we have to set title in layout.js file also now here i'll be writing title save this same as in uh, this thing also we'll be doing same thing in create next step i'll be raising from here curly bracket title save you can see we are getting the title styles component which we have written in our index.js file in layout tag now when you are getting this title you can see we are getting these three things and now you can use same other tags here so here you can use the button tag if you want to so here if i write button then you can write read more so save this you can see we are getting one button here with the name of read more here and you can style also this button so here now uh, you can write container is equals to and then you can just uh, do like class name you can write here then you can style that so it's your choice how you style your button so you can make it more good looking here save this file here then you can see this button is moving here and it is awesome looking you can see it is also getting a hover effect so now we have learned how to give a button hover effect here by using container tag you can give hover effect to a button then i will be say uh, copying this file move to footer.js do same thing here then i will be now writing button one so here i can write button one then you have to do one thing here go to save this file here then i'll be writing button three save move here in this header then now here i will be doing button 2 so right here button 2 now save this move to layout.js here then i will be doing one thing i will be moving underneath this h1 tag paste that button tag and here i will be now i will be raising this read more and now 
in the place of read more i will be writing button one save this you can see we are getting button one button two button three and with the help of container we are getting our effect in that so now i hope you understand this project and today we have learned how to give a hover effect to a button and this was the simple project which we have built using next year and i hope you understand this project if you have understand enjoy this project so please hit a like to this video if you are new on the channel hit the subscribe button share this video with your friends and family members so they can learn about these amazing things and skills which we are doing with uh, next year and i hope you also understand this amazing project using next year so now i will be meeting you in next video next project so for today good bye